Thanks, Arpit, and welcome, everybody. Good morning. Uh, Keysight Technologies is a leading technology company that helps enterprise, service providers, and governments uh, accelerate innovation in order to secure, secure and connect the world. But I'm not here to talk about that. I'm here to talk about something way, way more fun and totally different. And that's the birth of a brand new open source community called OpenTAP, where TAP stands for Test Automation Platform. And we think that's entirely relevant, and I think everybody will agree, automation's a big deal these days. So I'm gonna step back a little bit and give you a little history of where it comes from. And I'll start with this quote where, uh, what's his name, Martin? Martin Mikos says that there are always people who will spend any amount of time in order to sp save money. And then on the other side, there's a lot of people who will spend a lot of money in order to save time. And at one point during your life or the life of the company, you'll switch from one to the other depending on priorities and value that you see. Now, I'm gonna be your worst nightmare, aren't I? I keep moving around. The, uh, so that goes to how we started it. So TAP, Test Automation Platform, it started as an internal project to help us with our own internal testing. So they started building this project, but then when they found out other people through all, all the other teams wanted to do the exact same thing, they basically opened it up internally within the company, and that's a, a large company now. And what they noticed is a lot of people started using it and also started contributing to it. So it started growing in terms of users and in terms of capabilities, et cetera, because they'd opened it up internally. So what's what we call inner source. So, and, and it really worked. Like it, all of a sudden it could support all sorts of instruments within Keysight and it started growing and growing over the space of five years. And then they figured, hmm, wait, what can we learn about this? You know, how can we move forward with this? So we started talking to our partners, our people for externally, who used TAP and then got encouraged by them and eventually partnered with them to convert TAP into Open TAP. Uh, that decision was made a few years ago and everybody at Linux Foundation I'm sure knows that it takes a while to prepare things for an open source community. So last May, we announced it. Uh, we made as big of a splash as we could. We wanted to make everybody aware of its existence so that people might get interested in it and, and see if we can get people, you know, into the community. Okay, so we talked to the press and we're still doing that. That's why we're here right now. We want to increase awareness of this project as much as we can. So in July, on top of that, we started talking to people directly that would be interested in this, either test and measurement companies or integrators, or like Toka Labs, uh, a test as a service company, that they do this kind of stuff and they got immediately interested. So we've already interested some companies to come and participate and contribute into this community, along with the company that founded it uh, with ourselves, Nokia, because they were using it as well. So just to give you a very brief high-level overview, is OpenTAP is an engine in the middle of a very modular architecture where the, the driving force are the instrument plugins. And I like that because Keysight is full of instruments that were being automated, but that's evolved considerably where it's not only instrumentation that can be automated, it's other software components or other software frameworks to the point where we already have a plugin that uh, includes OPNV yardstick into the fold. And then there's device under test plugins. All these are all modular and fit into the engine like that. Uh, user interface, result listeners or logging, you know, how to store the results, and obviously the mechanism to go through test steps and automate the test process completely. Now what I found, find very cool about this is that this is not vaporware. It just launched in May, but it already is running and it's deployed in the wild. And the best example is the 5G Vini project. Vini stands for Vertical Innovation uh, Infrastructure. It's a 30, 20 uh, million euro three year project through Horizon 2020 and also the 3G PPP projects that has a goal of establishing infrastructure complete with radio uh, for 5G and allowing verticals to come see and, and prove to them that it works 
and also to experiment with it to, to, to see how it works for their vertical itself. And there's a, it's a conglomerate. There's 23 companies. You'll recognize some of the big names in there. And right now, there's, of, of all the installations they have, there's five of them where the test automation is completely done by OpenTap. So I get a kick out of that. It was launched in, in May, and it's already deployed and active and proven, and it will evolve. Okay? So obviously, OpenTap has a home. We built a website, opentap.io. Uh, you visit, a, and the, the code is available on GitLab. So we're inviting everybody to come take a look at it, see what you think, what value you see, and then maybe contribute to it and use it. Once you get there, you'll find a ton of resources, such as an introduction video, a developer guide, very importantly, uh, project overview, blog, etc. all sorts of things to get you kickstarted. This was all in the preparation phase to begin with. And there's a monitored email address where you can ask questions and you will get answers. So I'll leave you with the last quote that basically says, change. It's inevitable from Elon Musk. I'm obviously paraphrasing. And I think this is part of it. I think we all recognize that. That's it. Thanks for hanging out with me. Have a great day.